Give me your year-end forecast. I know it's constructive, and walk me through why you think it's achievable, given all the risks on the table right now. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I think that we're going to have a, a double-digit um, return between now and, and the end of the year. And I'll tell you what, what I think drives it. If you look at the B, if what we've seen so far this year, profits are up 7.5% year-to-date, and they'll probably be up another 5 to 6% between now and the end of, of the year. So we don't have a profit problem as much as people say. What we have is the valuations, the PE multiple is down over 30%, I think 31% on the market. And that's an enormous adjustment, which makes stocks much, much cheaper. So um, we think that the earnings continue to move forward. And we think that you get a bounce in valuation probably a couple of multiple points between now and the end of the year. Stocks will still end the year cheaper than they started, and they'll be up double digits between now and December. John, can I ask you this? Do you think the Fed yeah. will be happy to see that? Yeah, I don't, I really, and I, and I, I talk to people at the Fed, I don't think that they are focused on what the stock market is doing. They, what do they care about? They care about inflation and jobs. I, I think, you know, if, if I, yeah, so I, I really think that they're focused on the mission. And I think Powell may be behind the curve, but he's doing a pretty good job of being clear what his, his focus is right now. Inflation is too high. They have to address that. And that's where they're going to spend John, time. John, ask that, and forgive me for jumping in, isn't the mechanism to achieve that tighter financial conditions? Mm -hmm. And one element of tighter financial conditions are wider spreads and a softer equity market. Yeah, but, it, but I mean, when you think about financial conditions, and I know that there's some people who define it, including equities and some who don't, I'm in the camp that you have to look at very simply, if you wanted to borrow money, is it available to you? Uh, let's take a look at the things that, that I care. Again, I'm, I'm talking about what I pull off my Bloomberg terminal, but the Bloomberg um, you know, index for bankruptcies is at record lows. That's not what happens when you're going into recession. That's not what happens when the economy is melting down, that, pe that fewer and fewer people are going bankrupt. You would need to see that spike if you're going into recession. If you look at people who are defaulting or businesses defaulting on loans or not making loan payments, we're not seeing that at, at all. You know, um, Anastasia was talking about a soft landing, but in many ways, this environment just it, it, there's this. If you look at the stock market, you feel like it's a recession, and then you look at these metrics on the health of of you know the the credit market. And it just doesn't feel recessionary. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think the Fed is going to obsess on the stock market and blink on that. They will blink if, if the consumer falls apart. That's a whole different issue. They care about the consumer. They care about jobs. They care about spending.